Hey, this is John with Fathercraft. You know, the technology with baby monitors has advanced tremendously within the last couple of years. And because of that, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to decide which baby monitor is best for you and your family. So at Fathercraft, we put together a list of the best baby monitors of 2019. Plus we've thrown in a few, although popular monitors, ones that we feel like you should avoid. So let's jump into it. We are actually giving away our favorite monitor for 2019, so be sure to stick around to the end to figure out how you can enter. All three of our monitors are Wi-Fi monitors, meaning you use your smartphone or your tablet as the parent unit. Why do we choose Wi-Fi monitors? Three reasons. One, connectivity. As long as you're connected to your Wi-Fi or a cellular signal, you're connected to the video feed. Two, you don't have to carry around an extra bulky parent unit. Three, the display on your smartphone is going to be many times better than the display on one of these guys. All three of our baby monitors are easy to use and reliable. As with all baby stuff, you do not want to be futzing around at three in the morning, sleep deprived, trying to figure out what's going on in the monitor. All right, finally, the two video monitors in our list um, have what we think is the most important monitor innovation to date, and that is bird's eye view mounting. Now hold on, get your heads out of the gutter. You can mount your monitor on the wall uh, and it will provide you with an unobstructed view into your baby's crib. No more blind spots, no more guessing as to what your baby is doing. Somebody please pass the popcorn. Thanks. So now that you have a bird's eye view, let's get into the best baby monitors of 2019 countdown style. Number three, the Owlet. So the Owlet is a non-traditional baby monitor and it's great for newborns, uh, babies that were born prematurely, and for first time parents who are prone to excessively checking their baby to make sure they're still breathing. No judgment on this side. I was actually one of those parents, so I totally feel where you're coming from. So the Owlet is basically a sock that slips over your baby's ankle and it monitors your baby's uh, blood oxygen levels and her heart rate. Um, using this sensor here, which is basically the same high-level tech that you'd find in your pediatrician's office. Technically, the Owlet is not even a video monitor. However, they just released the Owlet Cam, uh, which will pair with the sock, and it'll make it a much more complete monitoring device. So there's a physical base station, um, and that goes by your bed, and there's an app that goes on your phone. Ready to flex those preschool stoplight skills? Green means normal, you're good to go. Yellow means the sock probably isn't positioned correctly on your child's ankle. And red means the sock is either not connected or some of those vitals that we mentioned earlier are outside of normal ranges. So the outlet is pretty awesome, but it does have a couple of drawbacks you should be aware of. Uh, first, it's pricey. The base station and sock start at 299 bucks. And if you add on the outlet cam, uh, that's an additional 100 bucks, hiking it up to $399 for the whole kit. The second issue we had was the, you know, that everything is okay light, that green light I mentioned earlier, is pretty bright. You know, go ahead and grab one of those eye masks, maybe turn on some aromatherapy if that's how it works. You're gonna be fine. So number two on our list is the Cocoon Cam. So this is actually the cheapest option on our list, coming in around 150 bucks. It's a really solid entry-level monitor within the new Wi-Fi genre and it's got a standout feature that we're gonna get to in a minute, so stay tuned. This one is one of the monitors that has the bird's eye view mounting. It's got top-notch encryption, and it's got pretty good picture quality. Not great, but pretty good. So let's get back to that standout feature. It has the ability to monitor your child's breathing using something called computer vision, and it will alert you if there is an issue. So what is computer vision? Computer vision is the basically the brains of this camera, and it does all the breathing detection in the camera, meaning your child does not have to wear something like a sock or something doesn't have to be placed under your child while it's sleeping. So we found two drawbacks with the Cocoon Cam. One was installation, both with the app and the physical mounting on the wall, and two was portability. It's not portable. Once it's mounted on the wall, it's on the wall. So overall, the Cocoon Cam is pretty solid, uh, pretty easy to use, for the price, gives you quite the bang for your buck. So the best baby monitor of 2019? The Nana Plus. 
The Nano Plus to us is head and shoulders above any other monitor we've tested in the past. We've actually done a few full length reviews of this monitor, so check out the link. Um, there's a link in the description or just type this link in your URL. So we're just gonna hit the, the three features that we find most valuable. Um, and again, to find out more about those other features, go, go see our review. All right, number one, picture and sound quality. No doubt, best in the biz on the Nano Plus. So combined with the bird's eye view, you're gonna get a great picture of what's going on with your baby inside the crib. It'll be riveting. Pass that popcorn back. Oh, thanks. Two, the Sleep Insights package. An absolute game changer. There's nothing else like it on the market. So basically what this thing will do is analyze your child's sleep and over time provide you with customized, tailored, sleeping tips to help improve the sleep of your child at night. And trust me, you're gonna want all the help you can get your hands on to help you get your baby sleeping through the night. Feature three, uh, Meta. It just works. It connects super easily. The setup is a snap. The app is simple and easy to use. And it even works via Bluetooth, meaning if your internet goes down, you've still got a video feed. It is also incredibly portable. Just snaps off the wall mount, pop it onto your multi-stand, and you're good to go for a sleepover at grandma's house. So the big thing to note about the Nano Plus is the price. It comes with the multi-stand, the wall mount, um, and if you get the insights package, you're looking at 380 bucks or so for that entire package. Now let's run through three really popular monitors, but at the same time, really bad monitors. Number one on this bad monitor list is the Infant Optics DXR8. More like Infant Optics DX. Are you kidding me? <sighs> That's good. Somehow, this monitor is the best selling monitor on Amazon. I don't know how. It boggles my mind. Based off our testing, um, and we've tested two of them over the last four years or so, there's no way that this thing should be ranked as high as it is, at least on Amazon. So it's a traditional monitor, meaning that the camera syncs up with the parent unit via a radio frequency signal. Some of the downsides with this monitor are true with any non-Wi-Fi monitor, um, and that is uh, you're gonna compromise on range and picture quality. Um, you need a direct line to maintain a, a solid connection. And again, this video resolution is about 360p, which is basically dog poo. But for the 165 bucks that you would shell out for this thing, you could get the cocoon cam and still have 15 bucks left over to buy some other outdated item like, like a DVD. Number two on our list, the Arlo Baby Baby Monitor. I just met you and this sounds crazy, but this Arlo Baby should be called Arlo Maybe? We actually really like this monitor at first. It's got great picture quality, that's undeniably cute with the bunny ears, and it's got some pretty cool features within the app. However, the more we tested it, the more we started realizing two things happening again and again. One, the app experience is dreadful. Too many buttons, there are too many buttons that do the same thing, uh, there are too many buttons that I don't know what it does, it's just a mess. Second, latency, meaning there's about a five second delay between what actually happened in the crib and then when it showed up on the video feed within the app. And that's a long time when you're trying to figure out if your baby is okay in her crib. All right, number three on our not good list is the Nest Cam. Simply put, this is not a baby monitor and it shouldn't be treated as such. So this monitor does not have background audio, meaning when you close the app, the sound shuts off. And if you're trying to use this as a baby monitor, if you close your app, you need to at least be able to hear what's going on inside of your baby's crib. So we talk in extensive detail on our website about why this doesn't work as a baby monitor. So go ahead and visit this link below to get more information or if you feel like further convincing is necessary. All right, so you've stuck around to the end and we really appreciate it. So now we're gonna reward you with some info on how you can enter uh, our contest to win our favorite baby monitor of 2019, Nanit Plus. We're giving away not one, but two Nanit Pluses. We'll choose the first winner in March of 2019 and the second winner in June of 2019. You've got three options to enter. One, submit a comment below. Two, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Head over to fathercraft.com backslash tube. Three, 
join our email list at fathercraft.com backslash tube or or do all of those and get a total of six entries. Damn, son. One more thing. You might hear some other YouTubers tell you to go ahead and smash that like button. I'm not sure how necessary that is. Um, you can simply press it lightly and it'll, it'll provide the same value for us. So go ahead and either smash it, tap it, or lightly press it. Either way, we'll appreciate it. We recommend don't smashing it because you're more likely to injure yourself that way. Just a pro tip from us. All right, thanks for joining us. It was great chatting with you and we will see you next time.